A quiet revolution is underway at the National Gallery of Art in Washington. In the conservation lab, a team is at work protecting 16 portraits by American artist Gilbert Stewart. The 200-year-old paintings include the likenesses of Presidents Washington and Adams and Adams' wife, Abigail. Our goal is to bring the painting back to how it looked when the artist finished it and how we, the artist wanted it to be seen. Stewart was the premier American portrait painter just after the revolution. Not only did he do portraits of presidents and their wives, but also businessmen, lawyers, and diplomats. This is a portrait of Luke White. Once a portrait was finished, it was varnished for protection. But after a few years, the varnish begins to yellow, compromising the intensity of the color and changing the visual impression. I've removed the varnish from this square here and this square here. And you can see that the sitter's cravat was a much brighter white, and his coat was actually blue, not this grayish green that we see here. This early Stuart portrait of the first president presents a different impression of Washington when cleaned. You get to see the virtuoso technique because um, nothing's obscuring it anymore. And you can see here just on Washington how many painters can do five o'clock shadow that looks like that. Each portrait is a singular likeness combined with Stuart's impression of the sitter's personality. He did not particularly enjoy sitting for perhaps any artist, Stuart. Um, he had other things to do. On another yeah, Stuart painting, a large rip in the canvas is being repaired by a process known as in-painting. It's been repaired before, but the old restoration paint covered a lot of the original paint, um, and it no longer matched the color. When finished, only a trained eye will be able to detect the difference between the original paint and the repaired rip. Thanks to a grant from Bank of America, work on the Stuart portraits is nearly complete with a new exhibition plan for the fall. Tom Ritchie, Associated Press.